thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to be tying a wee Peter Ross. So, hook I have in the vise is a full and mill FM1530 heavy wet fly hook. And the thread I'm going to be using is uni thread 80 in black. <coughs> so to start off, just a couple of mil behind the eye, whip on. Nice tight touch and turns all the way down the shank. Now I decided to tie this pattern today because I was given a wee bag of wedging through the week. I tied a Peter Ross, or no, I tied a teal blue and silver with it. And a few people have been on through my Facebook page asking could I do a Peter Ross. So I haven't tied flies or done any YouTube videos in probably about a year. So I just thought I'd give it a go. So we take our thread down to somewhere between the point and the barb. Just break our thread off <clears throat> and then for the tail I have some golden pheasant collar dyed orange. This is a feather of, well it's the same one I used for the tail blue and silver or wedging blue and silver I suppose earlier on in the week. So I'm just going to separate about probably half a dozen or eight fibres. And pluck them off, trying to keep them in line. So we'll measure them roughly the length of the shank and a couple of loose turns over the top and tighten down in. So that's quite good there, it's sitting fairly level to our shank. So we'll bring our thread back up and tie in all the waist. I'll just trim away some of that. There we go. <clears throat> um, doesn't have to be really tidy at this point, but we'll try and keep the body as even as possible. So once we're back up, pretty much to where we started, maybe not quite as far, we'll tie a ribbon, which uni French oval and small silver. So I'm gonna tie it in on the top so you can see it in the video and then as I bring it down the shank I'll take it more to my side so there we go reasonably tight turns the whole way down just trying to keep her body as smooth and as even as we can and just finish off there where her tail is and for the rear part of the body I have some uni mylar Gold on one side, silver on the other. We're going to be using the silver. So I'll just trim off about that. And I like to cut a slight bevel in it. So in the video, you'll see the gold. On my side, I'll have the silver. So turn it round. Tie it in with the gold side out and we'll bring our thread back up, probably just past the halfway point. There we go. <clears throat> so we'll take our body up the opposite direction to our thread. So we'll counterwind our silver tinsel. Nice tight touch and turns overlapping slightly just so you can see any thread through and then over the top with our thread to catch in our tinsel mylar there we go I should hold it down and then once it's trimmed off bind everything down not too bad. So for the front part of the body I've got some, see if I can see it there with the camera, that's it. Red seals fur. Seems to be increasingly harder to get. So we'll just dub on a pinch of that. Not too much to start with. If we need a bit more we can add a bit more. It's always easier to add it as you go along. So just back down our body a little bit go for a bit more. Hang on, get a bit picked out. Just 
it's always easier to add it on as take it off. So double a little bit more on and wind it on. Nice thick rope. Don't worry if it's a bit straggly and sticking out. We'll go again for a bit more. Just fold back some of them fibres. And just finishing about 4mm off our eye. So now we're going to take our rib up. So one turn just over our tail. And then nice open turns. Two, three, four, and the fifth turn just finishing on my side, catching it in with our thread. Four turns, just go to the inside of it, and trim it off with our <coughs> rougher scissors. I don't really like using my good scissors to cut anything hard. So we've got a few fibres there sticking forward. What we'll do is peel them back with my finger and thumb and then just try and tie them down. Now for the hackle here, I'm going to be using the natural black hen. I just haven't really a feather picked out yet. Something ideally you're wanting to go roughly from where you tie it in, probably touching your point. If it goes a little bit further, I don't think that's too bad either. I'll try this one. <coughs> so just peel off all the, the flue and the fluff. Catch it in with haggle pliers and we'll just double over gently. Exposing our tip. There's the tip of our feather here. Just see if the camera can see it. Trim off and tie it on, and then nice and gently wind your hack along. Two, three turns. Well, it depends on sort of the density of your haggle as to how many turns. Or how, how dense you want your fly. That looks not too bad. Bear in mind whatever's on the top we're going to try and tease down under the wing. <coughs> so just with our finger and our thumb push your fibres down. There we go. That's lying not too bad. And then with our thread work our way back. And that should that should catch them down not too bad. You can see the fibers are going just past the point, probably coming in around to where the barb is. <coughs> now for our wing. Let's see if I can find it. This is the bag of wedging that I got earlier on in the week. I have a feather picked out. As you can see it's it's an awful lot bigger than tail and again quite webby so I'll peel away a lot of the fluff and pull out just try and there we go and that looks not too bad on the camera actually yeah so we'll trim it off tail wings and bronze mallard things like that something I used to always have a lot of problems with and I'm still not really happy with a lot of the time whenever I'm tying them but I suppose we just need practice so so it's folded in three and then I don't know how well you can see that yeah so there's a natural curve on the feather again I don't know how well that will show up in the video but we're aiming to have the curve over the top of our fly and for length we'll be going 
nearly to the tip of her tail but not quite. So then set it over the top and a pinch and loop. So one loose turn, two loose turns and tighten down. Tighten down on that now. This is the bit that everything always seems to go south on but that looks not too bad. Quite often whenever I'm tying them <coughs> I focus on my side and then once you're finished and look at the other side there's maybe a crease in it or just something you're not really happy about but rather than turn the vise all the way around or use the, the rotary function on it I can see just in the camera reasonably happy with that wouldn't mind it if it was just lying down a bit more but I'll take that to be honest and then trim off for excess so you could just whip finish off there and that would be that would probably be enough but for this one I want to add just a couple of jungle cock eyes in it so I have a feather picked out I was hoping to find a split one in that new cape of mine but nothing really suitable so to split them I take my dubbing needle get this in the camera will I and just aim to go right in the middle of the nail pierce it and that should help get a good even split turn it around sorry so as you can see the right side of the nail so that's not too bad if you think one side slightly bigger than the other you can just trim it down with the scissors but I don't think that one's too bad just a wee bit of flu there and fluff will get rid of that <coughs> so just separate the two fibers or two two nails set them on top roughly where you want them using using a split feather like that's a good way to make sure both sides are the same length and then you can pull it either up or down to whatever angle you would like your jungle cock to be lying so I still would like that wing down a bit more but that's not too bad so we'll go and we'll trim off now. That's our jungle feather, our jungle cook feather trimmed off, and then just that little bit of waist, bind it down, build our head up. And now we're ready to work finish. So eight or so turns with the work finish. Trim off our waist, and that's our fly finished. Bar a wee bit of varnish. So there we have Peter Ross, or Peter Ross variant, as it's a wedging wing rather than the tail. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And hopefully it'll not be too long before I get another video done.